Ugh, what a weird dream I had. Yeah, I gotta lay off those papato chips. Welcome back to the penultimate episode of Undertale. Previously, we arrived here, at the True Lab. And, uh, some strange things are going on in here. I mean, we ran across some strange amalgamation thing, and... I don't know, Slenderman was taking a shower? I do remember that. And, uh, we ran across some VHS tapes that told us more about, um... Azrael and the Fallen Child. Apparently his name is also AC. But probably not the same AC, AC we're thinking about. And also, someone inconsiderably placed this, uh, save point right in the middle of the road. What was I thinking? Wait a second, something's wrong here. Something's very wrong here! That's not a save point at all! It's lemon bread. It's another one of these amalgamation things, but it actually looks like monsters we've seen. I see a little bit of mold big. I see a little bit of Aaron. And I think I see... So Shiren. It did say Shiren's sister fell down. Oh, this has gotten grim. But we're gonna have to figure out how to solve this guy because everything else will just fail and he'll say, but nothing happened. Case in point, that right there. I feel welcome, thank you. Thank you, Lemon Bread. Also, he's going to try and bite me, which is one of the more interesting bullet patterns in this whole game. It actually pulls you into the spikes. And it hurts for a heck of a lot, too. So, I know the way to solve this. First, I use Shiren's Hum. Actually, any combination will work, but I'm just doing them in the order that's on the list. There's plenty of people here, don't you hear them? And then you get attacked by this thingy. And yes, those bullets are actually going to follow the orange and blue roll, but it's very hard because they're flashing real fast. In fact, at 30 frames per second, you probably can't tell the difference. How about I try flexing at your Aaron parts? I don't really want to do that. I have a- I have a-, a ending to get to. Hey, stop biting me! Rude! He's trying to murder me with teeth! I don't like teeth murder. I feel like sparkling in front of you. Oh, everybody comes for glam burgers. You're wrong here. You are so wrong. So I keep on running into that candy corn tooth. I hate it. It's the worst tooth. You have terrible teeth, buddy. I'm gonna unhug you because of your terrible teeth. Learn to brush more often. Oh, really? Have you? Probably not in that current state. Look, I can't avoid teeth. I am the best teeth avoider. It is goodbye. It's definitely goodbye. You are creepy looking and weird. And that solves him. I would hit him with the book, but it really doesn't do anything. Oh, so that's what this familiar-looking thing is. It's the Determination Extractor. Put in human souls, you get determination to come out. Pure determination. Okay, this isn't helpful in the least. I can't see where I'm going in there. I need to try a different route. A different route that isn't filled with smog and possible am amalgamation monsters. That's just not what I wanted to go for today. Let's try in this direction. No, more smoke. But at least I could see in here. So much I could read entries. This doesn't sound like soul science. This is just Metaton love letters. And Metaton is just only bothering to talk to Alphys when he's asking about his body. But he might not need her anymore if she does finish it. Well, that's what happens to showbiz and friendship. You can't have both. Looks like her personal problems are affecting her science a little bit. Maybe that's why Metaton's body didn't seem like it was all together in the efficiency area. It's time to get rid of all the smoke and whatever that debris is floating in the middle of nowhere. Let's just clear the air a little bit. And summon another amalgamation monster. It's horrifying! Actually, between its legs, a negative space. Looks familiar. Well, I have nowhere else to go. Alright, buddy, you're gonna face friendship. And like it. Welcome to friendship! Oh, I forgot. That is not the friendship button. 
This guy is a very strange version of the dog monsters we met before. As you can check right here, he's actually quite many dogs. He is literally an endogeny. And he has only two attacks. He shoots backwards arrows at you, and then he tries to tackle you with his dog body. He is the dog rocket. He is the real mecha dog. Um, I'm gonna do this in order. There's several ways you can solve this guy. One is with the stick. Another is by using the hush puppy on him. Both resolve this battle instantly. But first we call him over. He looks like a rather decent dog monster amalgamation. Until he starts spitting backwards arrows at everyone. Can't take this guy anywhere. Worst pet ever. Oh really? You want some of that? Okay. My pet is known to be legendary amongst, amongst dogs. See? It's affecting him in very strange ways. Ah, aren't you a nice guy? What are you doing? No, bad. Get off the walls. Ah. The joys of pet ownership, I swear. This guy is a great many bony. Hey buddy, you wanna play? You wanna stop wrecking the lab? Yes, he, he went and fetched a book. I'm teaching him how to read through play. Okay, very nice. And we have to do it for each and every dog that he actually is inside. Well, at least that solved him tearing up the, the, the linoleum and everything around here. But it hasn't solved him still trying to murder me. Didn't he just say he was tired? Ridiculous. This dog is lying to me. I don't like it. He is going to face the full force of pet. Welcome to stage one happiness froth. But it's not enough. We need more happiness froth. We need a stage three happiness froth. What I need is a critical pet. Yes, that's indeed what it's doing. Just like the internet meme. Take this. Oh, that's not a pet. I've missed my critical pet. Darn controller, you disobeyed me for the last time. You are disavowed. I'm using keyboard from now on. Keyboard's my friend. Keyboard knows how to critical pet. And it brings back a very disturbed version of Dog Song. Okay, I don't feel satisfied. My day could have gone a lot better. At least he reveals his name now. The Endogony. If I remember right, endogeny has something to do with viruses and cells, except this time the virus is dog. That was a dogony, everybody. I hope you enjoyed him. So, now that we cleared up the fog, I can head all the way back to that room that I couldn't enter before. And something else weird and disturbing will attack me. Probably in unforeseeable ways. I do like the kind of, uh, I can't really call it music, it's more like ambience that goes on when you're fighting one of the, uh, one of the amalgamates. Oh, yes. And you haven't been returning their phone calls either, have you? You're supposed to say, hey, I accidentally, um, scienced all your people and then something terrible happened. Just be honest with them. What's the worst that could happen? They, they can't really hire new scientists. They, they're kind of limited to what they got. Oh, I can't really see any samples in here. I wonder what's in here. I do wonder. Oh. Are you sure about that? Are you really sure about that? I, I don't... I think you're lying to me. Somebody's lying to me. Even Asgore is leaving calls now. Four is about everybody being angry. One is about this awesome teacup. So that's where she got it from. I thought that was a gift from Undyne, but I guess Undyne got a got a lizard cup off of him. No, no it was a fish cup, wasn't it? Yeah, the lizard cup was Alphys. Well, you're working on Metaton. That's the only place you can find mechanical parts. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely working on her self-esteem. This is our conversion from Alphys to old Alphys. I miss new Alphys, but she was confident and wasn't turning people into amalgamate creatures. 
There's nothing wrong with these fridges. No siree. I did not expect that. I thought it happens after the fact. But this one doesn't look too violent. It's just a regular old amalgamate. It doesn't look like it's in good shape either. Looks like it's a combination of a snow drake and some vegetoids. And it's losing itself quickly. Oh, I think I know who this is. Do you remember Snow Drake? And Snow Drake's dad? He mentioned about his mother falling down. This must be her. Hi, Miss Snow Drake. Um, you're looking a little out of sorts lately. How about a joke? Well, that seems to be working with her. She really loves bad snow puns. Well, let's just give her what she wants, and also you could notice a little flaw there. That, uh, enemy sprites aren't exactly just transparent. There is a little black box around them. Probably due to some programming and software limitations. But she doesn't seem much for attacking, she just, um, does that. She doesn't seem up much for doing anything, so she's now a captive audience to my jokes. Ah, I guess bad puns do heal all wounds. I don't even get to spare her. She just spared herself. Probably spared herself from my bad jokes. She was just being nice. And I got a blue key for my efforts. And this is the green keyhole right here. We find the green key behind a curtain. Where the Slender Man was doing some very weird things. For all we know, it's probably W.D. Gaster's long-lost twin cousin. It could be... W.D. Bully. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it, even though that clearly is not empty. Probably another amalgamate in there, stuck. And he wants my potato chips, I just know it. Everybody wants the potato chips. Once you pop them in your mouth, you just can't stop. Alright, where do I go from here, though? I'm finished with all the northern rooms. Maybe I go into this room now. Yeah, I went in here before, but I didn't really want to mess with it just yet. We're messing with it now. Mainly because I have a feeling the blue key is at the end of this hallway. Yeah, that is very true. We need to store these souls somewhere if we succeed. And a human cannot absorb a human soul. So let's get some humans in here! Oh, right, the soul thing. Ah, what could we store these souls in? Maybe a few animals. Do we got some squirrels here in the underground? Some moles, maybe? They could store monster souls, right? Looks like the vessels didn't work out as planned. I don't even know what the control cases were. What, not having a vessel at all? What were you trying to do, anyway? What kind of vessels were you working with? Okay, I reiterate that question. What kind of vessels were you working with? The seeds were sticky. Is it kind of some kind of sticker bush or some sort? Ah, this is a lot of mirrors. Oh, hey! What are you doing in there? You're being ridiculous. Get out of there. Welcome to Book. Population U. I know it doesn't work, but he deserved it. He was hiding in my exclamation points, and who are you? Uh, you got some problems there, buddy. Uh, are you- are you okay? Okay, great attack! Thank you, comma. Thanks a lot, comma. So, uh... I can't exactly read what comma is saying at me. And Toby actually gave us a name for this dude right here. Who is currently under a bad case of moth. This guy is called the Everyman. That's what Toby calls him. And this guy looks like he's a combination of the ultimate enemies from the core. As in Final Frogget, Sir Whimsalot, and the Astigmatism. So, he have to do the things that make them happy. Like picking on them. It seemed effective, picking on the weird bird thing. Yeah, I can't understand that at all. That's why I'm picking on you. Your grammar is ridiculous. And what kind of attack is this? Okay, Dynamite Heady called. He wants his gimmick back. I'm gonna mystify you now. That's what you get. I have much to learn from this world too, like such a creature as possible. And also this guy right here. Where'd he get the moths back from? 
He was per perfectly fine a minute ago. He just had mini head syndrome. And now he has mouthitis. I shall pray for him. Now we learned the name of this creature, the Reaper Bird. Come to think of it, there's not many other birds in this, uh, in this game. You know, besides me and Reaper Bird and the Librarian, that's pretty much it. So we can actually discover what Reaper Bird is all about. Check out the defense. No wonder my book didn't do any damage to him. And the relentless future is looking brighter. This is relentless. It never gives up. Never give up on the future. The future is always coming. Either you like it or not. And you will stop at the moth thing. Goodbye, Reaper Bird. I kind of feel bad killing the only third bird in this game. So this one happened to be in the cold area. With Mrs. Snowdrake. And that is the final key. Now we just have to head back to where the entrance was. Back to the power room. So we could get some power. And we could stop getting assaulted by things. And as soon as I'm done with this, uh... True lab thing, the better. And pay attention to this bit right here. I will do it again. Pay attention to that bit. This is a cool glitch. Ah, did you see that? Slender Man is turning down the sheets. Actually, it stays in the default position until you activate it, and then it just slides that way every time you enter the room. I just found that as a pretty fun glitch. But since we're done messing around with the ghosts and the. Uh, weird creatures of this place. It's time for some power! This elevator doesn't have any power either. We're going to have to get deeper into power. Oh, these things need power too. Well, too bad the, the engine does not run on determination. I'll make it explode. Oh hey, it really does run on determination! You see the red heart on there? It runs on red heart power! I got plenty of that. Go crazy. Oh, hey, guys! I, I was just talking about you. Favorably, of course. So, you guys want some Papato chips? Hey, it's Elvis. Great, I was about to get smothered. Oh, so that's really all they wanted. Food. And they thought I was the food. Yes, that's what they call sassy now. That's what sassy looks like. They try to murder you. Oh, they just wanted my popato chips. Well, they can't have them. These are my popato chips. I only offered them because I thought they were going to murder me. Yeah, yeah I was. Because I know how to friendship and all this. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I'm just wondering what the point was. I mean, I understand your scientific endeavors now, but it doesn't get me any closer to pacifism, I don't think. Yeah, they look like rather upstanding, horrible abominations. Oh. Well, that took a turn for the dark. I'm not going to explain that. You should figure that one out on your own. So she's going to just reveal her entries to us. Asgore wanted her to study souls. During her research, she found determination. She injected it into dying monsters so she could harvest souls. And then the experiment kind of went sour. See, unlike humans, monsters don't have enough... Uh, enough meat to hold all of this determination. They're mostly magical, after all. And their bodies started to melt. They couldn't handle the determination. They got over-determined. And they all melted together into... those things. So that's why they're all different parts of several different souls and personalities and monsters. And she couldn't tell the families about it. I really wonder how that would have turned out, to be honest. Imagine being told that these three different people are all your grandpa. She was too afraid to do any more work. Because you saw what happened last time. 
She's not touching that determination stuff anymore. We're just leaving that alone. We're just a nuclear power, that is. Hey, Alphys, I need to tell you something about called Cold Fusion. It's actually pretty cool. Now she is going to tell everyone. She's feeling determined, and not that kind of way. Uh, Alphys, I think your left arm is melting a little bit. I think you're getting... Ooh. At least she learned how to believe in herself. I hope she doesn't try to fuse with Undyne. That would be... That would be upsetting. And to fuse too, with my determination powers. You're very welcome, Alphys. Alright guys, all you horrible monsters and the regular kind of monsters, let's go home. So, no secret boss or anything like that? No, like, super boss of determination or anything like that? And, hello. It's another entry. Looks like Alpha's found a candidate after all for a vessel. She hasn't told Asgore because she wants to surprise him. There's something special in his garden. The first golden flower. Weren't those golden flowers kind of a bad thing? They're kind of going to be rubbing it in his face. They appeared just before the queen left, though. Which is also rubbing it in his face. Wow, Alphys, you need to work on your social skills. That is not something we do, and... We do not mention that phrase in science. Not in the least. No, that is a bad question to ask. Well, good. The flower is gone. But is it really? Mull over this monitor for a little bit. I think the answer will become very clear. Meanwhile, I'm just going to check out this elevator. Oh, hello. I... I don't know who this is coming from. It's not on the caller ID or anything. Oh, you liar. I know exactly what this voice is. I heard it on the VHS tapes. You sound like Prince Azriel, don't you? I indeed have done well. I've made friends even with horrible mutations. Wait a second. What are you planning? What are you planning? I don't like this plan! It's Death Elevator Take 2! Oh, that's not a Death Elevator at all. That's just an express elevator right from the True Lab to... This place looks familiar. This place is looking very familiar. It's New Home! Why did it send me all the way back to New Home? Okay, I guess, uh... I guess I have to go fight Asgore again and then deal with Flowey. Which probably will be a lot shorter because once you fight Flowey the first time, any other subsequent neutral endings that you get... Uh, Flowey is just like, okay, let's get this over with, and then the souls destroy him. You don't even get the Omega Flowey fight anymore. As fun as it was. Because he just knows those souls are going to turn on him no matter what. And you just might as well just get it out of the way, get to the credits, talk about Sans and Papyrus a little bit. So, here we are, back at the end. I guess we could see the ending all over again. I kind of like the music in it. Good night, folks.